studying early childhood and education and here are my top tips. Do volunteering. Uh, it's really important for you to be engaged and stuff going on in the university apart from your academics. So I did my volunteering as an academic representative. As an academic rep, I was uh, given an opportunity to attend a skills, a skills training. Uh, so I boosted my confidence in that. So I was having a group work training and then public speaking. So I get a lot of things out of it. Before going on to a job, it's really important for you to have something to speak about. So most of the students go on to find a job and when they don't get it, they get really disappointed because employers really look out for the skills you have. When you go into volunteering, you actually get these skills, like the normal basic skills like um, talking or um, customer service or something like that. So these skills really helped me to get a job at McDonald's and I was really happy. That was my first job. Well, I was really confident in going into the uh, interview that I was being offered and I was able to talk of what I've done and um, I'm, here I am. So I'm the academic rep assistant for the next year. Uh, so my third tip for international students is to always voice your opinions because I know it may be a struggling phase that you must be facing and it's really important for you to be heard. There's always someone or something that you can go and talk to. Um, I have literally been struggling with the academics that uh, my course is on. So assessments, referencing was a really new thing for me that I was doing in this uh, university. But talking to your students as they're really supportive, uh, you can go to them like anytime you want, they help you throughout the year. I wanted to really do something about for my studies. So I found the societies, but it was not really easy for me because I'm not a really social person. I don't really long, like to talk to people. But then I found a different way of getting involved. So that was through getting uh, into organizing events. I helped the president of the society and then eventually I went on to the becoming the president for the Indian society. So that was a plus point for me as well. So my final tip to you is um, always take initiative to go to the career and poverty department because all that you do is really important that everyone recognize it. So that's the best department of telling you how to put that on your CV. It really makes a great change when you submit your CV or show your CV to your employer because there's a way of how you put, even if you have done so many things, but if you don't know how to put it on your CV, they'll not be counted. So it's really important for you to go there. You get so many tips, you get so many advices on how to go further, probably your CV or anything like that. Yes.